Mental is periodic table, right? So simply in that we have discussed about uh, what are the main important things or observations are there in a Mendel periodic uh, table that we have discussed, right? Then here it is proposed by simply Mendeley. He divided that uh, periodic table into vertical columns and horizontal rows. Vertical columns are given as groups and uh, horizontal uh, rows are called as periods. Then here, each group was divided into further subgroups called A and B. Right? Then here, Arabic numerals are used for uh, indicating the periods. Here, the elements which fall into the group, they are with the similar properties. That properties are here based on the valency and uh, chemical reactions. Right? Then, horizontal rows, there is no similarity between the elements which are into the same period. Which are into the same period. There are no, there are no similarity in them. Next here, simply that law was given by Mendeleev as follow here. What the law was given as simply here that uh, physical and the chemical properties are depending on the atomic weight only. So same atomic weight is used as characteristic property for the periodic law. Here, simply that uh, properties are based on the atomic weight. So he arranged the elements in the increasing order of atomic weights. Then they were selected into the horizontal rows or into the groups based on the similarity in their balance. Right? So that's why that uh, periodic law was given as physical and chemical properties of the elements or the periodic functions of their atomic weight. Periodic functions means certain time period they can give you uh, some properties uh, maybe in their uh, physical state or maybe in their valency or maybe in their chemical properties everything so repeatedly they can change right so that is given by mendel here so what the select features or achievements are given by mendel here so main features of this uh, periodic table. So in the uh, previous discussions, means uh, the Oberiner law of triads uh, or maybe Newland's law of triads, in them we didn't discuss, we have not discussed uh, about uh, simply uh, what physical properties or chemical properties. Just they are uh, tried to give a period classification, right, by taking uh, that uh, elements into the particular groups or uh, periods, right? So, sorry, there are no groups or no periods in a Tauber inner law of triads. Just he selected the elements into the group of three elements, made group of three elements. Particularly, they are not decided as uh, groups, not decided as uh, uh, their uh, characteristics, right? Just it is given. Here in this, that elements which are selected into the particular groups based on the valency and based on the similarity that is given. Right? How he got idea? Maybe it is uh, because of uh, Newland's law factors. So, in the Newland's law factors, what Newland said actually that elements which fall into the group resembles the properties. Right? repeats their properties after certain time. So that means a uh, duration, that are musical notes. Every eighth element repeats the properties. So like that, uh, he just uh, made a proposal. Based on that, maybe he tried, but he came with a new idea. That is what a similarity based on the valency, right? So like that, we are discussing the silent features in a Mendeleev's periodic table.
So there are here groups and uh, subgroups. Then next here, periods. Next here, prediction of uh, properties of the missing elements. So not only for the available elements, he also thought about uh, future discoveries. Right? That elements with the atomic weights and certain uh, properties may be discovered in the future. For them, he left some slots, rooms, the lived place, right? So there, the next correction of atomic weights. There are no techniques to find out atomic weights. At that time, he predicted the atomic weights and corrected the atomic weights, which already they thought with particular value. They are also corrected. Next here, anomalous uh, scenes. So these are the five silent features we are discussing in the mode answer. Uh, Mendeleev's uh, periodic uh, table. In Mendeleev's periodic table, there are five silent features. Groups and subgroups, periods, predicting the properties of missing elements, correction of uh, atomic weights, and uh, anomalous uh, series. Let's start our discussion each and every one. Right? So first thing is groups and uh, subgroups. Groups and uh, subgroups. In this, which are selected as groups? So in his periodic classification, what he did? Electro, sorry, that elements are arranged into horizontal rows and vertical columns. Right? Horizontal rows and vertical columns. That vertical columns are called as here groups or they are named as here groups. Vertical columns are named as groups. Then uh, here the elements which fall into these uh, groups are with similar properties. So total number of subgroups are eight total number of groups are eight that the groups are named by using a roman numerals right they are named by roman numerals one to eight so in each group you have subgroups for example if you are assigned a, a number for a first column right so this column was given by a number roman numeral that is one then again each group further divided into two groups they are called as here subgroups so left one is given by a and the right side subgroup is given by p so we can call that a group as one a and one b one a and one b so these are here groups and uh, subgroups. So Roman numerals are given with a particular uh, suffix, right? That is here. Simply it is given be given with a subscript called A and B to represent the subgroups. So vertical columns are known as groups. Number of groups are eight, and they are assigned with a number one to eight using Roman numerals, right? Then again they are given with the subgroups. Then here, selection of element into this as group and subgroup based on what? Here with the similar properties. That is especially balancing that reaction of particular element with the oxygen and observe the general formula of the composition based on the general formula. They are selected into the group. They are selected into the groups. For example, here, in the page number 128, if you see the periodic table classification by Mendeleev, here each group will be given with a, a general formula. For example, first one, first one, group number one, AR, one B. It is given with the general composition is R2O. It is what? R2O. Suppose if you go for Second group, it is given with RO. Third group, it is given as here R2O3, like this. For example, composition Na2O is there, CaO is there, Fe2O3 is there. This element will be fall into the first group. 
because the composition is similar to auto group. CO, second group, FU2O3 into third group, like this. That classification was given by Mendeley. Now, here, simply that elements fall into the group which are fall into the same group. They are with similar properties. They are selected again into the subgroups A and B based on the similarity between the elements into the same group. Again, the similarity is observed. So, to select that into 1A or 1B, right, we are depending on the chemical composition. Then again, selecting into the subgroup A or maybe into the subgroup B based on the physical properties of the elements as well as chemical properties of the elements. Next here, they are resembling the properties in greater extent from one to the other. For example, if you go to the first A group, first A group, hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and uh, francium. So in them, one to the other, for example, lithium to sodium, the property is in greater extent for the second element. If you go for third element, the property is greater in extent for the third element comparing with the second. So as we go to down in a group, that uh, characteristic property is increasing in greater extent. Right? So that is about uh, elements into the groups. Right? So similarity is observed. Similarity is observed. Then here, next we are discussing about the periods. To which are said to be here periods. Periods are what? Simple. They are horizontal rows and they are dissimilar in their characteristic properties. Right? They are written horizontal rows in the periodic table. That horizontal rows are called as here periods. That number of periods are here seven in Mendeleev's periodic table. Number of periods are seven. There are number of, sorry, there are seven periods in the Mendeleev's periodic table. So are there any, any similarity between the elements? No similarity between the elements which are in, uh, selected or written in the horizontal rows. So one to the other, completely dissimilarity is there. So here these are denoted by the numbers called Arabic numerals, counting numbers only. So one to seven, one to seven. So simply seven uh, periods are there. For that each period you are assigning a one uh, number for that. So one to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven periods, seven numbers. They are from Arabic numerals. Roman numerals for the groups, Arabic numerals for the periods. Then here, there is no similarity, completely dissimilar elements or different properties are there for the elements from one to the other in the horizontal rows. So left end to right end, no similarity. Completely dissimilar elements are selected into the periods. Next here, a period, suppose, uh, whatever it may be, number of elements into the period, or seven or that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, not seven. Already, Mendeleev said, how many groups? How many groups? Eight groups, eight vertical columns. So, Elements into the horizontal rows also number of uh, elements eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right? So total number of elements are eight here. So here that uh, elements from one to the others, elements from the one element to the another element. For example, here, first element is here. 
if you go to the last element, then observe the characteristic properties. Suppose if you are having here solid, it may be become gas. So similarity is there. No, characteristic properties are completely different. So left end to right end, that observed here, no similarity between the elements. No similarity between the elements. So here left to right, one characteristic property is observed. Suppose it is in the first period. If you go for second period, they are also here number of elements are eight. Number of elements are eight. So what the characteristic property is observed in the first period from left end to right end, the same characteristic properties are repeated from left end to right end in the second period. So a period compresses the entire range of elements after which properties repeats themselves. So one period to the next period. First period, what the characteristic properties are given from left end to right end, the same characteristic properties are repeated from left end to right end in the second period. Are you clear about this? What I'm trying to say? Is it clear? Within the periods, the characteristic properties are repeated from one to the another. So first horizontal row, characteristic properties are given by them certain. Then in the second horizontal row also, the same characteristic properties are repeated. So that we are trying to understand here. So that is the silent feature. One element to another element, they are different in their characteristic properties within the same period. Right? But first, one period to the another period, similarity is there. One period to another period, similarity is there. Within the same period, no similarity. Right? So that is about uh, periods. Then here, one more we are going to discuss about that prediction. What he predicted? What he predicted? That is properties. Right? Properties of the missing elements. They don't know actually. That elements are not available at that time. While he is classifying the available elements into horizontal rows and uh, vertical columns called as groups of periods. Horizontal rows are periods, vertical columns are groups. So vertically, right? So predicting the properties of missing elements, how he predicts them, right? So here, simply some elements are not available at the time. Here, few elements are predicted, assumed that may be discovered in the future with the certain characteristic properties that he predicted that Mendeleev they believed what uh, simply they may exist in the future with the particular atomic weight and with the particular chemical composition formulas generally they are here simply believed by Mendeleev right so according to his belief he left some places blank empty so they are Alerted with uh, slots, future discovery elements in the particular places with suitable characteristic properties. So what the predictions are made by Mendeleev, what the predictions are made by Mendeleev, they are almost same as the as observed after discovery. Right? They are same. They stand for the practical values. So, how he accurate, how much accurately he predicted that missing elements. That you need to understand, right? So, predictions only, they are assumptions. He won't thought, right? His own thought, but in his thoughts, they are particularly given by characteristic properties as the practical values, therefore, right? So, Almost like the same observed after discovery. So for the predicted elements, he assigned a name also by using a prefix called eka. Right? Called eka. So what is the meaning of eka? So eka means, according to Sanskrit, it refers a numeral one. Right? Eka means, according to our Sanskrit, 
numerically it is one so adding a prefix for the element so, so here simply you need to locate that elements in the period table also so he added location also for the element echo means one echo means one here he just selected element name which is above suppose here you are going to allot a slot for the particular element in the parent table suppose here you are going to allot a place for the newly discovered element so for this position he observed what is above the element what is above the element suppose x element is there above it that x element is used as name to indicate just below right just below to this element just below to this element by one means here echo so echo x x is given name of the element just above the slot just above the slot so x is above the required element here that x is only used as to indicate the name location suppose echo boron is there echo boron is there so what you need to understand here it is given as the future discovery element new element its position is just below the boron just below the boron the position is particularly here boron is here suppose so that boron is the location to address the newly discovered element position right so that address he addressed the element as echo boron so what you need to understand echo means one just immediately below the boron immediately below the boron so that he assigned the name for the element so one element just below the boron right here then next element is assigned as echo aluminium the element one element just immediately below the aluminium below the aluminium echo silicon one more element is what echo silica so these are the elements uh, predicted assumed by mendeley so not only assuming they are given with the characteristic properties with the prediction so what they are here just look at so echo boron echo aluminium and echo silicon are elements that which are discovered later after classification of mendeley period table but they are allotted with the slots in the mendeley period table so how they are so that characteristic properties are assumed as like this here so serial number property then here predicted by mendeley right and the name suggested by him right then observed property so what the names are allotted here echo aluminium and echo silicon right echo boron maybe they are not given by the characteristics right mendeley characteristics so echo aluminium and echo silicon so what the predicted values are there for them and what they are discovered and named so echo aluminium is discovered in 1875 echo aluminium is discovered in 1875 and was named as gallium it is named as gallium right then one more element echo silicon also discovered that is given as germanium in 1886 1886 so here before discovering them mendeley predicted and assigned a name echo aluminium and echo silicon so that reference is echo aluminium means one element just below aluminium one element just below aluminium or one element just below silicon so like this he addressed the elements so they are fitted or fixed into the same 
slots what the place left by mendeley right so just look at the properties of the elements so first property of the element is atomic weight so atomic weight of the eka aluminium was given by mendeleev ice here 68 mendeleev given ice 68 then eka silicon was given as 72 then practically for the gallium atomic weight is observed 69.72 for the germanium it is 72.59 so here see how they are closed they are very close to each other they are very close to each other so 68 very close 69.72 practical value eka silicon 72 practical value is 72.59 so they are approximately same then second property of the element is density so density also predicted density equal to mass by volume so eka aluminium uh, density is given or predicted as 5.9 and eka silicon density is observed or given as 5.5 then practical values are here 5.94 and 5.47 how they are close just observe just assumed not calculated right the next property is here simply formula of oxide chemical property how they are reacting with oxygen and what the composition they are given so by that also he predicted that means he located the position of the element in the parent table so into a horizontal row and into the vertical column. So into the vertical column, they are falling, which are with the similar properties, which are with the similar properties. So that is assumed as Eu2O3, Ea2O3, ESO2. Then after discovery that chemical properties are observed here, Ga2O3 and uh, it is germanium oxide geo2 see here compositions similar so ea is indicating gallium here indicating gallium the next property of the element is observed here simply it is about the form sorry it is not changed formula of chloride actually formula of chloride Again, that repeated. This is chloride. Okay. Then here, what the predictions was made? They are here ESCl3 and one more is ESCl4. So practically GaGlCl3, right? GaCl3, gallium trichloride and germanium tetrachloride, GeCl4. So these are the predictions. These are the predictions, right? So we have few more also to discuss, right? Only three salient features are discussed in this. Then we are going to another topic that is here about uh, silent features only. Third silent feature that is about the uh, correction of uh, atomic uh, weights. Correction of uh, atomic uh, weights. So leave the meeting, join immediately. In the next meeting, we'll continue up to seven o'clock. Join into that.